Fall is here, and with it, my desire to start a new island. Did I finish one that I can restart? Nope. Did I still restart? Mm -hmm. Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I will basically get right to the point. I was craving fall vibes in Animal Crossing. Something about this time just feels weirdly nostalgic and so it always makes me want to restart. But since I didn't have like an island that was done, I ended up deleting Sorbet. Sorbet was supposed to be a mint and orange kid core island. We only started it like not too long ago and I, I promise, I promise, we will return to this concept in the future. But for now, it's just time for some fall vibes. This restart as well as the island start shenanigans happened on my Twitch channel, but of course I did edit it down into a bite-sized video full of highlights, more or less. So let's go ahead and dive in because we have quite a few things to figure out. I heard there was some island yeeting happening. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna yeet. We're actually gonna yeet an unfinished island today. I was filming the farm guide and li literally that started my island crisis. And then I was like, oh yeah, no, I wanna, I want a new island. <laughs> Yeah, my brain cells, truly, I don't know the name yet. I I, ha I have no idea. What's the theme? I don't know. <laughs> uh, the plan is basically, I just, I wanna, I wanna, maybe like a fall island. I wanna build farms, Candlewood for an island name. I should write these down. I will start a little file, hold on. Every village are gonna have their own kind of farm. Maybe, yes. And then I'm the chef who puts everything together. <gasps> Wait, that's actually good. I actually kind of like leaf pile as one word. Granola? Ooh. Oh, I, I kind of like granola too. Yeah, you know what? I have actually thought about like a word in German, but like nothing sounds nice in German. <laughs> nothing sounds nice. It's always like, oh, what is that? And it's like, Blitterhofen. I don't know. Oh, Kastanie. Kubiskan. Schmetterling. Cranberry. See, I knew y'all were very good, a very good source for, for island names. Fire side might be cozy oh my god how am i gonna choose uh, okay i'm gonna read everything out this is gonna be a list though y'all okay so we got candlewood nutmeg dahlia snapdragon cardamom clove ginger maple grove appleton honeydew huckleberry calico cove driftwood cornucopia acorn cornhill sunbeam leaf pile sunset granola copper pine day apple pumpkin cranberry crisswood castagna mistwood teakwood chalice crimson hazelnut s'more fireside cider chai watercolor chestnut almond flannel macaroni oak moss oatmeal hayride ah it kind of sounds like a grocery list yep saying welcome to cornola sounds very cute it kind of does Okay, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna start my switch and then we can start hopping in. Uh, we are gonna go to Sorbet quickly and just look at everything. And then it's bye bye, you know? A crunchy granola is a hiking hippie that hasn't showered in a few days. <gasps> Y'all are making me not wanna. Uh, what? Here we go. See, this is just, it's very cute, but it's just not hitting the spot. Okay. Basically, we don't really have much. We just have like a street leading to the right hand side that just kind of ends somewhere here. And I guess the main thing that we did was like this one building here. There's some duckies crossing the road. We do have some like buildings over here. Here is my house. And then from here, the street just goes up here. And then, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and then this was supposed to be like a land bridge or something. Yeah, this was our map. Yeah, see, it was almost finished. Okay, so I'm just gonna end this, okay? I'm just gonna be like, yee. So essentially, I don't see every time, I'm not sure. Data management? Delete safe data, right? I think that's how you do it. Delete all safe data for the software. Yes quick and painless. Wow, that was so quick too. I'm surprised every time at how quick this deleting goes. We will return to survey in the future. Uh, it is just not, it's just not the right time, you know? Okay, y'all, let's go. Good morning. We're so excited to have you here. Let us be the first to congratulate you on your wise decision to sign up for this adventure. Welcome to the check encounter for your deserted island getaway package. Am I picky? I'm gonna let chat decide, okay? Chat has to tell Tom whether I'm picky when it comes to new islands. Incredibly, yes, picky. <laughs> not the slurp. Okay, apparently I'm picky. I'm not really looking for much today though. Yeah, picky if it's needed for the theme. I I can get on board with that. Is this your first time applying for one of our packages? Mm sure oh yes here you are our next step will be to take a picture of you Moline. take as much time as you need to get yourself looking just the way that you want see that would be great if it worked like that in the real world <laughs> okay we have slightly cursed eyes but honestly totally fine there we go 
I think I want the wobble mouth. Tooth, please. <gasps> Y'all want me to get the tooth? I don't know if I want it right now. Okay, we'll go with this for now and then we'll see later on, okay? We can always change it. Okay, looks good. I've got green shoes. I don't know what could go wrong, you know? Okay, I'll show you some maps now and you could choose the best one for your new home. Literally the only thing I want is to not have two double south river mouths. And the game was like, well, <laughs> what in the double south? This is because of no tooth. Oh no. <laughs> the game was like, oh, it's the only double south, right? I heard you, but what about double south? <laughs> okay, well, you know, this is absolutely not it. We're gonna do this again. And I'll, I'll give y'all the tooth, okay? The third roll is back to wobble mouth, okay. So we'll switch it, you know? Yeah, switch every other until you find the map. We should do that, yes. Oh, same outfit. Okay, same outfit, and then you get the tooth and confirm. Oh! Wow, that was not prepared. <laughs> this is all kinds of wild, okay. I hate this peninsula. Okay, what do we think about these islands? I definitely hear and I think partially agree with what you're saying about the peninsula being very far back. But I think resident services I like best in this upper left one. Do I fly and check or do we just, do we just yeet and reroll? Check. Check, check, check. Okay. We will check this one. There's still many things that could go wrong though. <laughs> I would say that like the starters could be hideous. I think having like a yellow or orange airport color would kind of be nice if we do want to have this in the fall. Give Hazel, please. Okay, we have pears. There's actually still some green trees. There's some that are starting to change their color. Oh my God, these are some very green trees still. I think I might like that actually though. <laughs> no, why the freaking pink villager? Okay, and I don't know how I feel about blue airport either. Not the pink rhino. Yeah, Billy is super cute, but the pink rhino, no, no. Okay, I wanna quickly check out the res- God damn it. First you deliver weirdos and then you're in my way. Yeah, see, this is what I mean. I think you can do like a nice path. Actually, this is kind of far away. You can do kind of a nice path though, kind of leading towards the right-hand side and then lead towards resident services, have some like decorations around it. There's an oddly shaped pond here, okay. I will say I kind of like this time of year and I feel like not a lot of islands are actually done in this time. A lot of islands are either in like full on green time or then like the maple leaf season. And I feel like this is very cute because it gives you a couple of green trees and then it also like has very beautiful weeds. Okay, but this is this is not quite it. We're gonna yeet. Okay, so this is what, number three, right? We have the same outfit again. Okay, there we go. Okay, it looks good. And here we go. Okay, hmm. I don't like this one with the resident services like right there. I feel like these two are like kind of far away. This one maybe? I feel like that water skating is really weird. I'm definitely gonna have to like remove it. I think I wanna look at this one here. I've decided. Okay, y'all, here we go. Oh, apples. Oh, that's good for far farm and fall. Okay. Right, so we got a yellow airport. I think that's okay. We got Antonio, who is cute. I don't know what the who the chicken is. Apples at a yellow airport is kind of solid. Oh, oh, wait, that is... I didn't realize it was like so there. Orange would be better, yeah, yeah. RS and airport are slightly off center. Yeah, so I would say apple, good. Yellow airport, good. Antonio, okay. Plucky, eh. But then this is like, oh, it's like so there. Maybe I would prefer it if it's a little bit further to like one side. It also could be fine, but like it doesn't, it doesn't feel quite right. You know what I'm saying? This date seems more like as the season turns and in your face autumn, I like it. Yeah, right? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. I think I want to restart. Maybe this is like a good, a, a good balance between like the fall vibes and farm vibes that I want, but also still keeping it somewhat green. I also have no idea if I can find cute codes though. It's okay. It's okay. We'll find something. It's okay. <gasps> Sycamore. I don't even know what that means, but it immediately reminds me of an Ed Sheeran song. What is Sycamore? Because I like the sound of it. <laughs> 
Oh, it's the little things that you put on your nose. I mean, it's a tree, but you know. Oh, I like that. The one with the helicopter seeds that fall. Yes. <gasps> oh, did you not do that? You can peel, you can slightly peel them open and then put them on your nose so you got a little horn. No, no, not the tree. The... <laughs> The small thing, the helicopter. <laughs> Why are you putting them on your nose? Because it's fun. We always did that as kids. It was always like, oh my God, look at me. That's a great name. Beautiful song and beautiful tree, right? I love Sycamore, I think. It sounds like a Moline Island. It kind of does. Oh, we have, uh, look at her outfit. I like granola, but Sycamore is awesome. Okay, good. See, that one feels right. You, that's what I want the island to feel like. I just, I want to, I want to look at it. I want to see it. I want to be like, that's the one. Okay, so I mean, with the name now established, let's see if we also find a map that's good. Holy crap, how far away are these resin services? I think not. <laughs> yeah, top right, I think would be the one I'm leaning towards too, but it's, I think it's the same, it's the same resident services airport thing again. Okay, bottom left could work. I feel like this, this resident services could be a little far away though. I might, I might just yeet. We have the name, but not the map. <laughs> Let's go. Ah, number five? I think number five. Oh yeah, better outfit and perfect map, hopefully. Yeah, started in like a greenish shirt. Maybe that's a good sign. Okay, here we go. Uh, huh. This would kind of be good for a no terraforming, I think. Apart from the peninsula, I think I might want to look at it. I do believe this is the turtle insula. We'll see. Okay, you got booty fruities. Oh, Antonio again. And the burger sheep. Okay. Oh, orange airport. Oh, orange airport. Oh yeah, but see, I kind of like this because you get like, you get like softer green trees. You get like this here, which is a beautiful shade of green, I will say. And then you also get some more fall looking ones. <gasps> the clouds. I love the clouds. Airport is really nice, but... This literally to me looks like the head of a turtle. <gasps> Look at this. Is this maybe like wasted if I do like terraforming though? That's actually really cool. But I do want to do terraforming, I think. Does the turtle insula matter? Matter. Hmm. The villagers waiting in the plaza for you to decide if they will survive. I wouldn't accept ton insula if it were me. It is awkward. It's also like right here, so... I can't believe like this actually making me consider yeeting, but I've been there before. I started my island and I legit played on it for a little bit, you know, and, and I yeeted, but then I did do it on Storybrooke. I think, I don't know. I might be leaning towards like, it'll be fine and we'll do it, but do a poll, like a short one. Okay, I'll shake some trees in the meantime. I don't know why. I like the position of resin services, I, I believe. There is an orange airport. Antonio is a good starter, I would say. Frida, meh. Bad thing is the peninsula. <sighs> 23, 23, really, really? Is that, are, is really? 30 seconds, oh, okay. Oh, oh my God, last second, oh, it tipped over into yes, we should keep it. Huh, okay, well, so the question is, did y'all vote to yeet the island because I was undecided or are we actually torn about this island? Because if everyone is this torn, then we need to restart. Do you like the outcome? I think this is a good, <laughs> This is a good picture of what's going on in my head. It's like, yes, no, yes, no, no, yes, yes. Hmm, no. I couldn't unsee the bad peninsula once it was pointed out. Yeet it, yeet it. I think I'm too torn on it. Am I? Do, do I want this? Yes, no, no. Earlier you said that you want to see the island and feel like that's it. And it hasn't been like that. Huh, huh. The island is as good as gone. Time to yeet. Okay, I mean, if you're saying, if if you, if you say so, I mean, I can, I mean. Oops, my, I slipped, slipped and fell onto the yeet button. Now don't gaslight us that we made you yeet. You hated it too. I kind of, I am. Uh... Oh, cute, cute little starter person. Do not disappoint me, Timmy. Let's go. I think top right, if any, right? Yeah, okay, I think we're gonna check out this one. It's not, yeah, the peninsula is kind of small, but we're gonna check it out. Oh, we had apples, again, that's good. Peninsulas are my worst enemies, yep. And pink starters. 
Okay, first of all, okay, Orange Airport, yay. Uh, second of all, Antonio really wants to be part of this. <laughs> and third, I just said I don't want pink villagers and then they gave me rocket. But Orange is good, Orange is good, Orange is good. Antonio's like, no, no, I'm part of this. You cannot get rid of me. <sighs> This could have been Hazel, you know? It is very close, but I don't, I don't think I mind that. I don't think I mind that. And then this is like a very narrow peninsula, but it doesn't look like a turtle. So that's, that's better. <gasps> no, wait, that peninsula looks like an alligator head. Oh no, wait. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh my God, it really does. This is Gator Insula. <laughs> No, I was gonna be like, maybe this is okay. But now, now I can't unsee it though. I have to eat. Once it has items, it won't show. If I put an item like right there, you know, where my head is, maybe I can see it. We need to put like a storefront, okay? Might as well embrace it, give him eyes with custom designs. Gosh, no. Okay, do we keep it? Do we keep it? Do we keep it? I think maybe it's okay. Keep, please. We cannot ban every peninsula from, <laughs> from existence. True. Yeah, no, I think it's, I think it's like everything else is cute. I suffer from short term memory loss. And I think this one is much easier to, uh, to hide. Okay, we'll do it. We'll do it. Okay. Do we autofill is the next question. Cause we could. Yay. Okay, is a rocket here? Hmm, great. And how about Antonio? Antonio's like, oh, finally, she she didn't notice I was here. And there is Moline, of course. Hello. We have the island. The hard part is over. <laughs> Today is the first day of your new life on this pristine, lovely island. So congratulations. Can we put Rocket's house in the ocean? <laughs> We can try. We have our tent and now we just need to decide where to put it. it we could definitely can't put it on the peninsula because that one's way too small. Ah, look at Antonio. You can live this close to the to the airport though. No, no. Okay, question. Is this enough for my house? Ooh, I think that's it, right? Yay. Let's go. Okay, I will definitely find you a spot rocket because this is not it. It's, she <laughs> she, just, she makes me uncomfortable, I feel like. Rocket, we have the perfect spot for you. You just wait. Okay, Antonio, we will also find you a spot. Yeah, Antonio can live closer to the airport. That's fine. Oh, is this enough space? Uh, this is a spot. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you all found just the right spots to set up your new homes. We can move on to more serious business, like throwing an island warming party. You found even more than I asked. Yeah, because I'm an overachiever and a people pleaser. So I already have apples for you too, because I know, I know exactly how this works. You know, this is my first rodeo. Now, is that everything? Yes, I believe it is. Uh, let's get started with the festivities. I suppose we can't call this a deserted island anymore, but what should we actually call it? Okay, spell check. I think we're going to win. Are you sure though? Are you okay with Sycamore? Yes. Okay, let's see everyone else's ideas. We have Awesome Beach, Buffburg, Nookits, and Nooktopia. Great. So Maline suggested Sycamore. I suppose if everyone is in agreement, we could just go with Sycamore. Yay! I hereby name you the resident representative of Sycamore. I didn't even ask for the responsibility and I still got it though. A toast to Sycamore and the happiness of its resident. Cheers! Cheers! <clears throat> little voice break there. Okay, let's not look at Rocket for a second, but Antoni Antonio, Loki cute. Okay, I will actually go and take a nap. That sounds good to me. Give me my camping cot. Night, night. <sighs> Here comes the debt. Uh, we need to collect some miles. Sick of more miles. Let's go. Here's our first 500. Okay, I also did a picture already, as usual. We're gonna do one little red dot, and this will be the masterpiece. There we go. There it is. A true spark. Sparksby, I guess. I want to be New Leaf Camper. No, I don't like that. New Leaf Wild World? Maybe let's do Wild World Camper because I did play that one. We're already up to 1,600. Oh my God, Antonio already like doing the things with the with the wood. Alrighty, Antonio, what are you gonna give me? A hat. What hat? Explore a hat. I mean, the color isn't my favorite, but it's cute. It's kind of fall-like. I will keep it. Okay, I, I wanted to collect some shells. I found three, so that was great. Hi, Rocket. How you doing? 
I'm getting a real good vibe from the 10 plot you picked for me. That's good because it's like very far away from everyone else. So here's some Nook Miles, I think, for talking to our villagers. And then we'll create a post here. A little heart. A heart and a music note. If you translate Sycamore with Google, it says it means Maulbeerfeigenbaum. See, this is what we meant with the German. Okay, here's our, here's our fishing rod. Yay! And then we're also going to go and make the net. I can't wait to get my tool ring. I'm gonna call it as it is. Butterfly. First catch. Yes. Oh, dragonfly. There is a grasshop. There we go. See, I'm not bad at bug catching, okay, Chrissy? Listen, my bug catching isn't that bad. I'm gonna let you make fun of my fishing, but my bug catching? Okay, if you watch my research videos, I guess you could kind of get the impression that it's bad, but it's not. Whatever. I'm gonna try and get maybe like some wasps. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Oh, almost. Yeah, I guess the dragonfly is a bit of a uh. Okay, I don't see any other bugs, so. I guess here we go. At least I caught the first one. <laughs> oh my God, I hate dragonflies. The abandoned one is even worse, but like, can they stop? Like, you know what I mean? I have to trick it. I have to trick it into flying into my arms. No! Oh God, God. Whew. Okay, fish, fish. Here we go. Yay, I caught my first sea bass. I'm so happy. This is such a rare fish. Oh my God. Uh, wow. Okay, I'm just gonna drop these here so I can get a couple more fish. Look at you already decorating, right? I love fishing. So calming, you know? I got a tilapia. It makes me happier. <gasps> Yellow butterfly. Yellow butterfly. Yeah. There we go. I was just waiting for it. I was just giving it a little bit more time. Okay, let's decorate our tent. It's so quiet in here. 16, 17, 18, that should be enough. Okay, and I think now I have to decorate the outside also, right? It's been a while since I've done this, it feels like. Beautiful little display of all of the bugs and fish that I caught so far. Our net and our fishing rod still have some juice left in them. Oh, this is new. Oh wait, I got some more miles. Oh, no phone. Okay. Oh, we're at 4,150 already. Here we go. Okay, here's more miles. Oh, our first acorn. I need to think about what else I could do for miles. I mean, I guess I could, I could fish a bit more. Oh, fruits I've sold. I could maybe sell 20 fruit. Okay, 5,000, there we go. And we even have more now that I moved. Oh my God, I've got so many miles. <laughs> okay, about my moving fees. You owe 5,000 miles. Well, I'm ready to pay and I got almost a thousand miles to spare. Nice. You're free and clear of debt living on a thriving scenic island. Sorry, Antonio, this mine. Aw, oh, he's happy though. Okay, five outstanding specimen. Yes, yes. You'll have to excuse me. I'm with a customer right now. And now we have to choose a plot, I'm pretty sure. I kind of want to destroy as as few tall weeds as I can. Maybe this is good. I'll move like a, fur, a little, like a tile further back, maybe. I'll move like a tile further back, maybe. <laughs> there we go. Yep, that's the spot. Yay! And so our first day on Sycamore came to an end. But with a bit more grinding on and off stream, we continued more or less right where we left off. Are you planning to grind to three stars today? I would love to. We still have to start in music. As you can hear, I have been playing the last few days. Our starters are Antonio, who's cute, and Rocket, who is... Not so much. As you can see, I've I've been doing the stuff, so, you know, I've bought a couple of flowers, planted a bunch of pumpkins, and I've been harvesting these and selling them, and I'm actually making a good bit of profit, so I already paid off my first house debt, and I'm not, I'm not poor at the minute either, so, you know, it's going okay-ish. And then every, like, furniture piece that I found, I basically also placed down, either from balloons, sometimes I purchased stuff in Nook's Cranny. Yeah, I also, I got the shop. I, I um, got all the materials for the shop. I place it on that little island, whatever. And then I also found Mabel already. So we already have the Abel sisters. And I kid you not, the first day, they had this entire outfit. I'm still missing my glasses right now, but I felt like this was pretty perfect. I have put down the plots for my first three villagers and I have already crafted all of the materials. Oh, cute. We'll kind of see today who our starters are gonna be. So the normal, the peppy and the lazy villager. 
and I will honestly go as far as I can. Maybe we'll get all the way to reaching three stars. Maybe not. Yeah, I might want to get this one. I, I think I'll wear what we have though. Okay, so here are the plots. And as you can see, I have a maid and dropped the three exterior items outside so that we can put them down together. So personally, I think I would lean towards day by day skipping, but then check morning announcements instead of the houses because I'm actually kind of bad at knowing whose house it is. And then it's always just kind of, huh? <laughs> Okay, I think it's time to just talk to Nookie Boy, right? And tell him that we've done we've done the work. Everything's finished, yay! <laughs> that means the rest is up to me. I'll get started on the home construction right away so we can welcome our new island residents. Okay, I think that I've done everything on this day, more or less. Shall we do it? A little nervous. Oh, rocket. Oh, it's raining. I don't have to water the pumpkins. That's good. Okay, here we go. First starter. I don't know which one this is. I for always forget this. I don't know if this is lazy, normal peppy. Now for today's news. Okay, I'm kind of happy about that. Oh, cute. Well, he's definitely not like fall themed and he's not, definitely not like farm themed, but how freaking cute. I can't play yet because I got to unpack my snacks and my other stuff like furniture and stuff, but come say hi tomorrow. Okay, cute. He needs a haircut. The brown haired bowl cut is definitely a choice. Oh, hi, Harv. How are you doing? Oh yeah, welcome to my humble abode. Well, at least I have a party garland, you know what I'm saying? And now I'm scared legit, like, because oftentimes it'll happen that our first one is actually cute and then the next one is... Okay, on to the next day, let's go. I like the skeleton also in the back, just behind Tom Nook's uh, head. I feel like that's a very good touch, right? Now for today's news. Cookie is a pink dog, right? Oh, uh, yeah, she's a meh. Pink dog, and I'm pretty sure I said the eyes are, are creepy to me. Cookie's a bit much. I feel like that's a good way to describe it, yes. <gasps> Hi, Buckle. Oh my God, he's drowning in the sugar cane. That's so cute. Thank you. A palm tree lamb? Broccolo, get with the theme. <sighs> oh yeah, she also has the slightly pink house. I'm Cookie and I'm totes not used to rando folks just, you know, walking into my house. Oh, you're Maline. What a fab name. This bus is a train wreck right now, but when I'm done, it'll be so adorbs, you will faint. I hope she's talking about her house and not the island. Beautiful, beautiful palm tree lamb. That's great. Yeah, I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> See this pumpkin, the pumpkin crop game. If you want to make money, y'all, it's so good. I can already pay for my next loan payment thing. Time for our next autofill. Okay, here we go. Once again with the beautiful skeleton. Are we ready? I'm not. For today's news. Is that a pink bird? Is that a pink villager? Ew, is that the is that the pink bird with the little weird hair? Ah, oh, with the with the swirly. Mm -mm. Why? Oh. Ew, what's with the red what's with the red roof though? Cuz so the swirly cheeks make me think of like a horror movie and then look at her freaking hair. What is that? I know the curl. Ugh. I don't like the clothes on her. I don't like the clothes. I don't like the swirly cheeks. I don't like the hair. It's just not Midge and I so we had one cute one and then two so okay are you saying like three out of five villagers right now are literally pink i can't i don't know what to say honestly and broccolo has pink ears oh true you have got to build a pink farm oh good thing there are no pink smug villagers oh really there's not a single pink smug villager I don't know, my, my hopes are not too high. We need to talk to Nook because now is the time to start working on... Actually, wait, what do I need to do next? Because I think the campsite only happens once Isabel is there, right? Skip two days, okay. There we go. <gasps> we don't see the skeleton anymore. Dang it. Hello. Hello, I'm Isabella. As Mr. Nook said, I'm part of the resident services staff here on Sycamore. Oh, you're already eager to hear how you can help out. Our goal is to have the incredibly popular musician KK Slider come and put on a show here on Sycamore. So for the first step, we'll increase the number of tourists by adding a campsite to our island. Okay, I want you to craft that and pick a great spot on the island. I am counting on you. Now, where do I place the campsite? Maybe like by the peninsula, kind of. The wrestler fits your color scheme. Get out of here. <laughs> I know pink is haunting me. They were like, you're doing a fall island. No, you're not. No, you are not. That should fit here though, I think. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Now that the location is settled, I can proceed with construction. Okay, so this means I now have to time travel, right? Let's let's check our uh, campsite, shall we? This is the smug villager. We have to take this this villager. I hope Shep pink ears okay so he was actually the very first campsite visitor i ever got in animal crossing on neverland and i didn't as everyone else or as many other people i didn't understand that you had to invite him so he just stayed there for like days and i just i i didn't i don't like him i'll just move here behind rocket you know it's fine yeah i maybe actually would have uh, liked mine to be to have been shep shep is not my favorite but for this island i feel like shep would be nice um too close to the ledge oh it's not gonna be possible here huh oh it is okay well yeah we're gonna do this then as part of improving infrastructure we'll set aside plots in advance and put them up for sale okay which i think we can already do and since i i am fine with auto filling we're just gonna purchase at least two. There we go. This is the spot. Okay, let's try and find our next uh, villager. I will check the plots. Yep, one of them sold. Quick question. Do we wait until the morning announcement? Yes, that's more fun. Okay. Do I need to do anything else on this date? I don't think so, right? We just move on to the next one. Okay, new, new villager. Let's go. Isabel, don't disappoint us. Cashmere. Oh, Cashmere is a sheep, right? Okay, I don't know. I have to look at her. Okay, I don't hate the house. This is hers, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, that's a meh. Mm -mm. Oh, and the next plot is sold. Okay, so we move on to the next day, I guess. Okay, Isabel, let's go. We have a new friend, Monty. Oh, Monty is a weird monkey, I'm pretty sure. Ew. Oh, oh my God. I would have not expected this interior for Monty. He legit has like mushroom stuff up. Okay, wait, he's kind of funny looking. I will still say it's me. It could have been, honestly, could have kind of been much worse. He's a little derpy. Great villager setup, I know. Oh, he's a cranky. Did not expect that for some reason. The only cute one is Broccolo. Excuse you, Anto- Oh, Antonio is cute. Yeah, sorry. Antonio and Broccolo are cute. Okay, so now I'm pretty sure we can definitely- Ask about the rating. Island evals. Yes. Okay, wonderful. It seems you're as excited to hear about the image of our island as I am to talk about it. As it stands, we currently have a three-star rating. Yeah. I'm not looking forward to that concert. I'm not gonna lie, because you know what? There's gonna be so many weirdos. I don't wanna see this. Oh my God. Yeah, whatever, KK, get started so we can get this over with, please. And with this truly beautiful view, the actual island adventures are just getting started. Mitch has already decided to move out in the meantime, but Greta replacing her really hasn't made the lineup any better so far. And there is honestly still a lot of question marks regarding villagers that I want to have or areas I want to build. But here is a little sneak peek at the in-game mood board, as well as some of the codes that I might be using. Let me know if you're interested in videos of what I built down below in the comments. And then thank you all so, so much for watching today. Make sure that you're subscribed so you can see more of this progress soon and I will hopefully see you in my next video and until that happens I hope you all have an amazing time bye everyone